opportunity way. for like games that have been remade mm -hmm. from like <laughs> super pixelated <laughs> art to like clearly now, now the, the green green is, is gone <laughs> we can see high definition in our way Right, we're back with some more of Golden Sun. We're here to finish the Mercury Lighthouse. We have to reach the beacon at the top and stop Saturo and Minardi from lighting it. And in a flash, the battle is done. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I blinked and it was over. Mm-hmm. What's that blink in a victory? Yeah. Tune in for one of the episodes where it's blink in a defeat. <laughs> To be fair, though, Ginny can break this game. Like, if you know how to use Ginny and just spam summons, yeah, you can just juggle enemies, and they won't even have a chance to pose a threat. I can like I like that sometimes, and then sometimes I'm like, what a shame. Well, I don't know if it was intended or not. Yeah. For like, cause like sometimes I design things in my games, and people are just like, broke it. I'm just like, god damn it. Yeah. <laughs> how the hell did you do that? <laughs> It's just the way your players think. Well, yeah, because, I mean, I see those memes all the time of, like, I think it was a bird or a seal or, or a smaller animal, and they're in the water, and that orca is, like, right behind them. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, when you do all the side quests before you face the first boss. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no. We're going to ride the waterfall. Now the waterfall is moving upwards. All right, kids, onward and upward. How does that work? The power of the elements. You pray to the statue, and she's like, all right, we will ascend to the top. I'm just going to change the direction of the water. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first time Link gets sucked up the, like, the teleportation. Mm -hmm. He's just like, ah! <laughs> Why would you come closer to me to lick yourself? Oh, it lit. We're too late. Damn. They all woke up dead. <laughs> is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? Synergy stone. Alrighty. The so we got ourselves a fantasy. rough boss coming up. The fantasy. <laughs> Alright, make sure everyone's healed up. Everyone got items to use. Put that stuff to good use. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Do you want to pet the kitty? <laughs> <laughs> has already been lit. Oh, cabbages. I, <laughs> I kind of want to just put like a little tear on his picture because the way that it looks is like <laughs> teardrop. <laughs> so yeah, they have the elemental stars. So that's how you light the beacon. Those elemental stars, mm -hmm. you cast them in and it lights the beacon. Now keep in mind, they have three of the elemental stars. <laughs> <laughs> we have the final one. So worst case scenario, they can only do three, so long as we're alive. We, dun, dun, we gotta dun. make sure they can't get a hold of the final elemental star. Hey, it's Jenna! So Isaac! <laughs> no, that was Creighton. <laughs> oh, Creighton's there too. That just looks dangerous. <laughs> the like little floating yeah, steps. Yeah, just that little step way up at the top of the lighthouse. How the other ones are bouncing, mm -hmm. you know. Someone is not OSHA approved. <laughs> Minority. Minards! Okay. We do not give the Grace of Turos that voice. <laughs> 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 I 
frowny face. <laughs> I always picture him as like the kind of character that would like do a hair flip. Yeah. Very similar to King Ollie. Oh my god, I <laughs> lost it when King Ollie hair flipped. <laughs> that was I when you knew you liked myself. this character. Bubbies. Bubbies. Please stop. She's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I want to be near you, but I want to lick myself. All right. So Minardi is going to go off with Craden, Felix, and Jenna. And Saturos is going to stay here and keep us at bay. So we're going to fight Saturos. I like whenever they pop up I try to like unfocus my eyes to see what the character looks like. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank God I got off that platform. It was certainly not OSHA approved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Isaac Garrett, don't die! <laughs> <laughs> just, Meanwhile, the other people were like, well, fuck us, I guess. I think it's supposed to be like, Isaac Garrett, don't die. Yeah. And then he leaves, but the context of them going it's down like, is like, don't Isaac don't Garrett, die. don't die! <laughs> okay. So here we go. Four versus one. Can we do it? Do you think you can match the great Saturus? Yeah, I think we can do it. You overestimate your chances. Fine then, I'll just teach you all a lesson. Eh? <laughs> What's this? The light of Mercury, it's weakening my synergy. He I said, must finish Oops. this quickly. <laughs> Come on, fools! All right, here we go. The battle with Saturus. Now this is a tough fight. If you struggle here, it's basically a foreshadowing of just like, you're not quite ready for what comes ahead. Okay. This is basically the gloves are off battle. It's just like the training wheels are done. Yeah. This is like either sink or swim. So Taros is pretty tough, even though he's fighting by himself. All right, so we are going to power, power ourselves up with the Jinny. The Jinny, Jinny, Jinny. And he is a Mars Adept, so he is powerful with fire and weak against water. Okay. But that is also why he's weaker, is because In the Mercury. lighthouse itself yeah. is weakening him because he is a Mars Adept. So he is the opposite. So if he was on the Mars lighthouse, it would empower him. Okay. All right, we're going to summon Ramses. Give him a good punch. Give him the old one-two. All right, this is a brutal one, Eruption. It's a spread spell, so mm. the first one it hits does the most damage, and then it spreads. It does less damage to the others, but it does but hit it's multiple still, yeah. targets. And yes, I did inspire my battle with Marcus from Fantasy Forever Revisions off this fight. Uh, the only difference is in Revisions, you're not supposed to win the battle with Marcus. In this one, you have to win. Okay. If you lose, it's a game over. It's just yeah. like, and they were never heard from again. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a fight where it's just like, failure is not an option. You must succeed. I like this one. Nareed. See what I mean about the summons? They're just so cool. Yeah, they are very cool. I don't know why I cast Volcano. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> You think you hurt me? Ah, you think fire is your ally. You merely adopted the fire. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't know third degree burn until I was a man. By then it was only scorching. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. You ready for some heat in the third degree? This is where Mia comes in handy. Or again, Mercury Jenny. Yeah. 
So like that Nereed spell that I summon that I did is probably the most effective. Okay. And you use Nereed again by stacking two. Oop, that's Kieran. Again, we're trying. Yeah, 86 damage, not that good. Oh, Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> you dumb bitch. After this fight, I start mix and matching the Jenny. Okay. So that they use multiple elements. So that elements. way it's like you're not constantly casting a fire. So. Yeah. But it's also, so, well, it's something to keep in mind because when you swap Jenny, you lose some of these spells. You get different ones yeah. instead. So it's always good to keep an eye on, like, which Ginny give you the healing spells. Yeah. Because if you get too cocky, you'll mix and match, and you'll lose the healing spell. Mm -hmm. And nobody's the healer. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a part of the strategy. Who's on healing duty? <laughs> Everyone looks at the girl. She's like, ah, oh, not today. <laughs> Mia's like, no, no, no. I got the Venus Ginny. That's someone else's problem. Carry your weight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use Venus with Garrett this time. We can see clearly now the rain is gone. The rain is gone. I didn't mean to stumble there. <laughs> the rain is gone. <laughs> we can see all the I feel like that's a missed opportunity way. for like games that have been remade. Mm -hmm. From like <laughs> super pixelated art we can to see like clearly now, now the rain, rain is, is gone. <laughs> We can see high definition in our way. Yeah. Now we need to like record that for like the Mario RPG remake. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I was the say, Super Nintendo version. We can see clearly now the, the green. green is gone. Yeah. I like it. We need to put that on our album with Don't Go Fishing Under Waterfalls. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a bright, bright, high def day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. He's like, quit singing. Have some fireballs. <laughs> oh, shit. Isaac, Isaac, you can't die on me. That's illegal. That's illegal. <laughs> Cast Bly. There we go. Wesker's knocking. Who's that knocking at my door? It's me. But don't get cocky. Take the time to waste a turn or two to heal everybody. Because yeah. Satoros will take that advantage and he'll cast some spells that'll yeah. just nuke your party, even if you're winning. Now, do you see his health? No. This is like the old RPGs where, like, I don't think there's a way to see enemy health. So what I do is I look at a guy and I'm just like, all right, so he roughly yeah. has so and so thousand. By the way, he's gone. Yeah, I saw him, <laughs> I saw him dissolve into dust. He got Thanos. <laughs> He twitched. <laughs> uh huh. Blame the exactly, lighthouse. Exactly. Yeah. He's like, I would have won if it wasn't for the lighthouse sapping <laughs> my power. The type of character that blames everything. Yeah. Well, I had a really heavy lunch yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alex was there the whole time. <laughs> She was like, you dumb ditty. Ah, Alex and Mia share a bit of history. Because they're both Mercury adepts. Everyone else is like, god damn it. <laughs> Do you <laughs> no, clearly I don't. Oh, I see. Alex is on Satura's side. The only reason you won is because of the lighthouse. <laughs> it made Mia more powerful and Satura's more weak. Clearly, it had nothing to do with our skill and grinding. <laughs> <laughs> right. The excess grinding, eh, that might be a factor. Master. Actually, I haven't done much grinding Masters yet. of water. She had no idea, but she's a master. Mm-hmm. I shall explain it all. <laughs> That's it. That's... Fire and water are opposing elements. It's super effective. 
Haven't you played Pokemon? <laughs> I mean, the Ginny are just wrong enough Pokemon. <laughs> Why did my brain just go, haven't you ever spit on a candle? And I'm like, I have never spit on a candle. Why, why did my brain think that? Oh, but wait, there's more. I stood by watching your battle from afar. Thanks for helping. <laughs> I did not help because I was certain he would win. Uh-huh. Well, we see how that worked. But I was wrong. You have become great fighters in such a short time. I see that smile and I just think, why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> see? I lost to the lighthouse, not you. <laughs> I just want the lighthouse to be a playable character. <laughs> I want the lighthouse to be like, no, nah, no, nah, man, you lost. Fair and square. The they got you. The lighthouse just in the background being like, hey, hey, hey. What's that from? That's from Incredibles. No, nah, man, the lady got me. Fair and square. Yeah. <laughs> we'll meet again, Spider-Man. So, yeah, Alex... As we know, has the power of teleportation. Mm -hmm. So he's just gonna. Shoo. We'll see you next time. <laughs> I like a two gadgets. <laughs> Believe whatever you want. I think that's you, sir. <laughs> Blaming your loss on the lighthouse. <laughs> I like how he warps just out of reach, yeah. just for a little bit of like. All right, Satoras, like we practiced. Nah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's my ride. <laughs> Adieu. Yeah, we gotta get those remaining elemental stars. Hmm. Do you want them? Yeah. Come and get him. <laughs> Too bad. Minority has them. Okay. That's actually smart on their end. The person who takes off has all the elemental stars in case Alex wasn't there and Saturus lost. It would just be like, and we'll take these. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Minority has the remaining stars. Minority's going to be like, so you lost. Alex, why didn't you help him? <laughs> I know, you're like, you just watched from the back? Alex is like, because Saturos and Alex doesn't roll off the tongue as well as Saturos and Minority, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be a hero. I mean, unless you put Alex first, Alex and Satari. Satari? S it's Minority. Min Saturos. Saturos, Alex, Alex and, and Saturos. Saturos. That Saturos could work. And Minority. Saturos and Minardi. I suppose that could work. Alex isn't the fighting type. He's just a manipulator. Yeah. I mean, obviously, he just watched from the back as his friend got destroyed. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, remember in Revisions how, like, there's a character who's allied with my villains, but he's kind of yeah. not? That's, That's Alex. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, neat. Well, the healing waters will flow now, so that's a plus. Which is interesting, because we're not supposed to light the lighthouse, but lighting the lighthouse returns the healing water, which I'm pretty sure that's what we need for the I trees. I feel like the people would be like, what the fuck, man? You could have done this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like... Well, regardless, it is a dangerous trek, Saturo and Minardi or not. Like, these lighthouses are filled with puzzles and monsters. Yeah. So it's not like any schmo can just be like, oh, we'll just go up there and light the lighthouse. It takes the brave, the few, the proud, the adepts. But it's fine. Well, because they were trying to stop the lighthouse being lit. Yeah. So, so I feel like the people would just be like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. The healing waters. 
the fountain fills again. So we're going to take the healing water back to Tret, restore him, and restore the forest. Yay! I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. <laughs> Fado left a message that, like, if you mind read some of the trees, they'll be like, we should all be trees, because there'd be no wars, because we're all trees. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Accurate. All right, we're going to use the empty bottle. And there we go. We got Hermes water. Fountain of healing. Brings rejuvenation to all life forms. Okay. Does that include people that are dead inside? <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to find out. Which character do we know in this universe is dead inside? <laughs> Probably Felix. <laughs> Probably. It's like, here, Felix, drink this and get rid of some of that tube. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I explained this before, but every time you make a purchase, you get a game ticket. Oh. Rack them up, and there's like a whole casino area way later in the game where you can cash them in for prizes. And play games and minigames and all that stuff. Neat. So keep that in mind. That'll be quite a few parts from now. So you get rewarded for buying things. So you got the perk of like, hey, this increases my defense. But once I buy it, I get a game ticket. Now, game tickets do take up a spot. So you can either give them all to one character and be like, here, Ivan, hold our game tickets. Yeah. Or you can spread them out. It all depends, because right now, Isaac can't carry shit. So I have a little bit of resource management I need to do. <laughs> <laughs> and later on, this is the kind of stuff similar to battles that I'm going to, like, edit out. But okay. I did want to show the game tickets yeah. and some of the things that Well, I mean, because you you've already set that expectation of, like... If it's repetitive, you're going to cut it out, but the first time you see it, mm -hmm. it's going to be there so that you can see it. Mm hmm All right. I do like this. So when you buy something, they're just like, all right, how about 90 coins? Oh, since you're not using that previous equipment, you want to sell it for not for 40 coins? Yeah. Instead of like Instead of you going selecting through, sell and yeah. stuff like that, it's just like, hey, what you were currently equipped you're no longer using. Yeah. I'll buy it off you for a small price. That's something that I'm getting used to doing is like, if I'm not using a, an older weapon or it doesn't have the stats that are as good as a newer weapon, I just get rid of it. Like. Yeah, that's currently what I'm doing. So at the time of this recording, I found um, the accessory maker and yeah. you can break old accessories and reforge new mm. ones. And I'm trying to get in the habit of, like, stuff that I'm just stalking yeah. to use so that I can put it to good use. So that'll be in a couple episodes for the Eve playthrough. In regards to this playthrough, it's just a nice feature to have. Especially yeah. because you're just carrying shit and you'll be like, Isaac can't carry this. Well, it's because you have all this junk. Yeah. <laughs> Now, what I just used there was My a sacred feather. Full of land. It's an item that allows monsters to attack less frequently. Okay. Because as you can see, like in these dungeons, f battles happen a lot. Yeah. Now, because I'm just trying to head back to the f to the forest, I don't really want to fight that many monsters. So I'm going to use a sacred feather for less interruptions. Okay. And they're relatively cheap, so I highly recommend stocking up on them when you reach the villages. Alrighty, so now we take our journey back to Kalima. So we want to go to Kalima Forest first. Cure He's threat. just running over the forest. Whoop. And there we go, the sacred... Of, the, again, the sacred feather doesn't last that long. I mean, long enough, enough that you can get... Yeah. Long enough that you can accomplish some things. Oh, this is the wrong village. <laughs> Sorry, everyone! <laughs> oh, my sincerest apologies. Now, what happens here, you have one of two outcomes. I unfortunately don't do the good outcome. Oh. So these trees, I'm supposed to like push them aside and keep them like out of the water because when they become people, They'll you want them on yeah. the shore. If you don't do that though, one of them does get lost in the water. And it's just like, oh, there Aww. was another one of us, but they seem to be nowhere to be found. And I'm just like, oops. 
You gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. Mm-hmm. Now I did a quick edit there, all through all the monsters. I yeah. went right up to the trees. All right. Let's go up to Tret. And use the healing waters of Hermes. Does he become happier? Or is he still like, ugh, you should have let me die? We'll see. I think the sprite, like one of the two changes. It's either the portrait or the actual character himself. Okay. Let's find out. But look. Let's find out. The autumn leaves are turning to spring leaves. Oh. <laughs> So, kind of mutual. Kind of like, hmm. He still kind of looks like, fuck me. <laughs> oh man, I gotta live. I love how she's looking like, where are you? <laughs> she's got her little side eyes going. I'm behind you. God damn it. Alright, return the people of Kalima into humans once more. <laughs> okay in the next episode we're gonna see the end results of uh Kaleem oh god Tret's spell okay mm -hmm. but now it's explaining what happened Tret's like this is because of the synergy stones so when Mount Aleph erupted and the synergy st the synergy stones spread all throughout the world they started having different effects on the creatures okay. and the life of the, of the world. Hmm. Yep. All of a sudden, my fury overwhelmed me. I was consumed with anger. And Laurel was consumed with sorrow. So Aww. synergy may be good for the adepts, but it's not good for the world around us. powers of alchemy are affecting the world. I need something to throw at her. <laughs> mm. I just looked at the coaster and I was going to frisbee the coaster at her. <laughs> I would never do that. That's way too heavy. I was looking if there's like a piece of paper that I could like... Meh. I already flung my socks at her. To no avail. Oh, hey, Laurel has powers too. Laurel. Different from my own, but stemming from the same source. <laughs> Laurel, what are you doing? <laughs> She's like, they're all gonna be bushes now. Even the animals have become monsters. Beyond the river, an evil forest has ri risen up to the south of the river. Was it evil forest before it was a forest, or is it like an evil village now that they're not forest anymore? She, from what she said, it was like a forest that's turned evil. Okay. So that is our next destination. But our little detour is going to be back in Kalima to see the actual villagers. Nice. That'll be our objective in the next episode. All right. Toodle.